गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज माय पार्ट सी क्लास इन जूरिस 2016 प्लीज रिफर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 आई विल टेल यू द ब्रीफ फैक्ट्स ओनली बिकॉज आई डू नॉट हैव द क्वेश्चन पेपर ब्रीफ फैक्ट्स आर लाइक दिस देयर वर इंटरनल डिस्टरबेंसेस इन अ फैक्ट्री ड्यू टू स्ट्राइक्स एंड लॉकआउट्स इंटरनल डिस्टरबेंस स्टार्टेड so strike is happen in the hands of the employees where the lack of lockout is in the hands of the employer or the owner so internal disturbances which resulted in lockout as well as the strikes also second point is the management retrenched some employees without any proper reason very clearly as given so retrenchment without proper reason was done it's not accepted third point even though the employees went to the tribunal that is the labor court it has been it has ignored the employees rights uh, labor court said no we can't help or we can't interfere ultimately the employees approached you as an advocate advised them what are you going to do if the people if your client says that uh, the factory people the factory management they have retrenched you without following the due procedure basically this so in jurisprudence this case was given i hope you have not completed the labor laws if you have known the current labor laws it is very very easy for cake walk for you but you are not but still it was given in jurisprudence so you can uh, read the topic as uh, social welfare jurisprudence law should be should give the social welfare these are all welfare measures these are all welfare measures for the workers for the laborers so therefore specific acts are there like industrial disputes act 1947 factory act 1947 all these things so first of all let us know what is lockout what is strike and what is retrenchment first that is better section 2q of the industrial disputes act 1947 says strike means cessation of work cessation means stopping cessation of work by a body employee body of employees that means who decided not to continue the work okay right yes you all know that even the industrial disputes act or factory act they were framed based on the constitutional principles of the fundamental right article 19 so formation of unions what for collective bargaining don't forget these words they are very very important words so now yes they can the strike means yes they can stop the work but for that according to section 22 clause 1 of the industrial disputes act they should give notice 6 weeks prior to the so and so uh, prior to the so called strike in advance of one and a half months they have to give notice to the management even if it is emergent after giving notice they have to wait for two weeks then only they can go for strike why because the management may think in the uh, view of the so called employees they may do something you have to give a chance is it not so this is the second principle of natural justice so please remember this connection minerva mills our golden triangle case most important case minerva mills union versus uh, sorry not that many i am talking about another case mineral mines mineral mines m i n e r a l m i n e s mineral mines union versus kudremuk kudremuk war 1988 what is our case so please remember the union gave notice on 1984 for the strike and the management said go no, let us go for uh, the so called uh, arbitration or conciliation they wanted to hold discussions but the discussions were not successful ultimately after 3 months that is on 10 12 the gone on strike but the management says the strike is illegal so basing on the point that they have already brought the matter to the notice of the employees employer employer said he will look into but he could not do it ultimately they have gone on flag strike on 12th month 10 1284 yes strike is legal it's not illegal so strike this is a weapon in the hands of the so called employees now section 24 says the strike is legal if they have given notice uh, as stated in section 22 6 weeks in advance now coming to the point of lockout lockout means closing section 24 clause 
deals with lockout lockout means temporary shutdown of a factory by the employees maybe due to internal disturbances maybe due to uh, so many cases but let us say due to internal disturbances because the question is on that internal disturbances so strike he yes, supreme court in one case stated that just like strike a weapon of the employees lockout is available to the employer but this should be done only after giving notice to the employees this cannot they cannot arbitrarily say from tomorrow the factory is closed so in this connection another case law general labor union that is red flag union versus bv chauhan or bv chauhan bv chauhan and others 1984 so the closure of the so called industry so here the point is no doubt they have closed the industry for a few days it can't be termed as lockout lockout means since there are internal disturbances we are closing so and they have to after giving notice to the employees the employees they have to give it but here it's temporary closed so whether it is lockout or not the industrial court has to decide the subject was sent to the industrial court they have now come to the point of retrenchment this is more important entire case is based on the so called retrenchment so section 2 within brackets wo wo of the industrial disputes act 1947 says so and retrenchment means discharge of the surplus labor is more important discharge of the surplus labor by the employer may be due to reasons but due to reasons that is inevitable reasons number 1 when the production is uh, high and the material is uh, when the uh, raw material is not available when the employees are available but material is not supplied and uh, when the workers are heavy when he wanted to uh, actually cut down uh, the so called rationalize when he wanted rationalize the employees so for saving the machinery or labor then they can go for the retrenchment simply retrenchment is a part of uh, removing the surplus labor extra labor suppose if a person started a company with 1000 employees with the big hope that he will get foreign order they could not get the order what he has to do what he has done they are all daily coming marking a present and going what is the use so he has to rectify them 50% cut so the factory they are ready to do the job but the material is not available what they can do so rationalization then <clears throat> the people are ready but the uh, so called uh, there is no outlet the people are they have already stocks are piling up with the adjust kuchun or gana akada parn orders la venue sir this is this are all the written but there is a process for retrenchment so this is more important so section 25g deals with the procedure of retrenchment that is uh, number 1 the employee should be given 3 months notice and he shall to be given 3 months compensation and prior permission of the state government is also necessary as per section 25 clause n even chapter 5a of the industrial disputes act says minimum notice of 30 days in an establishment where 50 more than 50 employees are there it has to be given whatever it is please remember that notice should be given for the retrenchment here we are going to discuss a case law that is state bank of india versus sundaramani 1976 case so here main reason is uh, sundaramani was taken as a pun a temporary employee or a contract employee he has worked for more than 90 days but they asked him forcibly to go on leave ultimately he was working like that uh, working for some days then going on leave one or two days then continue ultimately he applied for a, a retrain he was retrained and he, no, without compensation they have removed him but court said you have to give the retrenchment compensation since he has worked for more than 3 months so this is the use of the retrenchment law then <clears throat> as regards the procedure of retrenchment we are having two more case laws one is these are all important cases you have to know i can't help because even though the video goes lengthy you have to uh, see it once or twice i'll try to complete it 
Pomanesh Kumar Dwivedi versus Mr. Hindalco Industries uh, Limited 2014. So they have retrenched Hindalco Aluminum Company. They have uh, retrenched the employees without paying three months compensation. The labor court said no, you have to give them. Already they are in short. The company is about to be wound up, but still they have to pay the money. Then <coughs> retrenchment can be done following the regular procedure only, not, not appropriately. If that is done, they can approach the High Court under Article 226 of the Constitution of India. Second case, S. Yes, Palani, just like our Sundarmani case. S. Yes, Palani versus Indian Bank and another 1979. So this man Palani joined as a pure Indian Bank in the 1974. It was only purely temporary basis. Here he worked for 133 days. So he was denied permanent pure post. Why? Because I will tell you, he has... Uh, uh, passed the 10th class examination, therefore, along with others, uh, already some other staff were there. Of course, they were permanent. So, they are also pewns. Then he applied for the permanentization of uh, the post, but he was not allowed because he was denied the permanent pewn post uh, uh, as uh, he is only a temporary employee. So, uh, Supreme Court clearly stated that. The, even the retrenched employees, they are entitled for the so-called preference. If there is any chance to take him, he has to take him as a permanent employee. So, friends, remember, these are all the important case laws. So, if you see my notes, you will be enlightened with all these cases. So, I hope you will understand the uh, essence of the so-called factory act because uh, retrenchment, lockout, uh, then strike, all these things are there. But please focus your point only on the retrenchment accept. So section 25 says they have to give him three months advance notice, three months compensation. Even the state has to accept the same. If you know this much, it is sufficient. With this, I am concluding. Thank you very much.